In this video, I'll show you how to install Google Analytics 4 on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm currently logged in into my Google Analytics and here we've got Google Analytics 4 installed on this particular site here. And earlier I went ahead and created a purchase and here you can see the purchase event is firing as you expect and also the add to cart and all the other um, events, okay, are firing as it should. Earlier on during the week, I actually created um, a few other orders as well. Um, so I'll just go ahead and click on it just to show you that it's firing and working as it should, okay? So we'll click on monetization here and then we'll just quickly have a look at the overview. Okay, and here you can see we've had two purchases um, totaling 113 pounds and a few pence, right? Okay, it's a similar thing when we go on um, engagement and events, we'll be able to see those events triggering as well. Okay, so he, these are all the events that I've had in the past few days. And you can see again, here we've got two purchases, okay? Two unique purchases. So I'll quickly show you how you can get your site ready for Google Analytics 4, and it will only take a few clicks. Okay, so if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first thing we need to do is head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooSuite. We'll need a pro version for this, okay? Cause we wanna enable this Google Analytics feature, okay? So I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded an all-in-one checkout plugin by WooSuite, you wanna just go ahead and upload that plugin. So you just go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you've just downloaded, okay? So once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here, and then you'll see the AIO checkout menu, okay, for all-in-one checkout. Okay, so you just go ahead and click on this um, menu item here. Okay, and then we'll just navigate to settings and then we'll navigate over to tracking and then we're just entering our tracking code here. And then here where it says Google Analytics, I think we'll move this section um, right under here. So the layout might be slightly different in your case, but nevertheless, you'll just go ahead and enable the different events that you wanna show up on your Google Analytics report, okay? So whenever a customer adds a product to cart, we do wanna show that so you can enable um, all these options here, okay? So I'm just disabling them. But in your case, you'll just go ahead and enable the ones that you need. Okay, just go ahead and save changes. And that's pretty much it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually go ahead and create a new Google Analytics tracking code. And I'll show you from um, step one, okay? So I'll show you from creating the Google Analytics um, tracking code to um, add in it here. So I'll show you where to get your Google Analytics ID from and then later on we'll go ahead and carry out a few tests so you can make sure everything's working and firing as it should. Okay, so let's head back over to Google Analytics and then we'll go ahead and create our new test code. Okay, going to head over to Google Analytics here. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to admin. Okay, so before we create a new tracking code, so let's say you've already got Google Analytics 4 already set up, then in this case, you just need um, the measurement ID. Okay, so to get the measurement ID, again, we'll just click on admin here, and then we'll scroll down to where it says um, a data stream. Okay, and then we'll click on this one here, and then we'll just copy our measurement ID, okay? So you just click copy, and then you'll go ahead and paste it in here. As you can see, it's exactly the same um, as this one here. Okay, so I'll just quickly create a new property so we can add our tracking code, okay? So I'll just click create new property here. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a name, for example, example.com. We can add our country here, um, our default currency, click next. Just to walk through the steps, it's pretty self-explanatory. So we can choose whichever applies to us, okay? So again, you'll just enter in your actual inf information. So you'll enter in your store URL and so on, okay? So I'll click create stream. Okay, and here it gives us our measurement ID. But again, since we've already, I'll exit off. So again, since we've already actually got um, another Google Analytics property set up. There's no need to go ahead and create this new one, okay? So I'm gonna X this off. I just wanted to quickly show you the steps in how you'd actually create a new Google Analytics 4 property, okay? So I'm gonna go back and select where it says stage in here. So this is our demo site. Okay, so assuming you've got your measurement ID here. Again, we just copied over into our settings area here. 
Okay, and enable the relevant tracking um, events that we do want to show up in our Google Analytics account. Click Save Changes. Okay, and to test this, all we're going to do is we'll quickly we'll X this off. We'll go to Reports, and then we'll go ahead and click on Real Time here, so we can see what's happening in real time. Okay. Okay, so with this tab open, we can actually go to our store and do a trial checkout. So I'm going to head over to our store here and then I'm going to visit our store page. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and purchase this product here. Okay, so let's view cart. Okay, and let's go ahead and check out. Okay, so this particular checkout page and the checkout field is powered by the all-in-one at checkout plugin. So it's another benefit of using this particular plugin. So you can optimize the checkout process to increase your conversion rate and just the overall user experience. Okay, so we're just entering our information here. Select our payment details and then we can just go ahead and place order, okay? Okay, so that's orders being placed successfully. So now let's head back over to our analytics here. But when we scroll down, we can see that there's been two purchases in the last 30 minutes. Okay, so one's um, from when I created it earlier, and then I've just gone ahead and add a new um, purchase. Okay, okay. so if you remember as well, um, the product that we purchased was this black pepper product here. And we viewed um, the cart page and then the checkout page, right? And then we actually proceeded to the thank you page. So our event seems to be working as it should. So you just want to go ahead and test this to make sure it's working as it should. Okay, and with um, Google Analytics 4, I believe they take up to 24 hours to actually process all the data, right? So if we head to monetization here, okay, if we actually change the date to today, so it's currently not showing the purchase that we just made, but if you give it 24 hours, then a, um, information will appear here, okay? So with your tracking code, um, installed to WooCommerce, you should now be able to use the monetization and expiration report in GA4. Okay, and that's an easy way for you to install Google Analytics 4 on your WooCommerce store. Okay, so before this method, um, we're using a separate Google Analytics plugin that's available on WooCommerce.com, but it hadn't um, support, and I still don't think it supports um, Google Analytics 4 yet. So this is why we actually built in this functionality in our all-in-one checkout plugin. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helps. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.